What's going on, y'all? Loudy on the mic, aka the Loudmouth Ninja, and <laughs> welcome back to another video. You know what I'm saying? Today we're finna talk about Spider Man, quick time events, all types of stuff. Let's get into it. Okay, so the other day I was watching a Spider Man Homecoming movie, and it reminded me on how much I've always enjoyed Spider Man, and it got me even more hyped to play a new Spider Man game next year in 2018. I went to go rewatch the 8 minute video and remembered something that bothered me the most and that was the quick time events or QTEs if you want to sound like one of the cool kids <laughs> you know what I'm saying usually QTEs are cool but lately they've been overused like the white people don't season their food joke or dad, cut the big head, he said dad. <laughs> Honestly, I was just sitting there thinking like Insomniac Games could have thought of anything better. If I was them, I would have thought to myself, what could I do to make these, make these quick time event action scenes more compelling? Then it dawned on me. They could use the PS4 touchpad to replace those unnecessary QTEs and make some more interesting ones. Like example, there's this one part of the video where Spider-Man swings around this giant crane and sticks it to a building. This had me thinking, what if they use a touchpad for this situation? Instead of pressing the button on time, you could squiggle across the touchpad and press a button to kind of have that secure feeling. Cause you know, it would kind of feel all empty slash weird just drawing all over the touchpad, you know what I'm saying? It would be kind of a challenge and refreshing to, to do the draw and button holding combo on the controller. No other PlayStation exclusive uses the touchpad to its full potential except for Infamous Second Son. And I understand that every game can't use it, but if it's only exclusive to your console, then your exclusive games should be using it. And I'm tired of this thing being neglected on every Sony game and becoming an over glorified select button. Even the light bar has a use and that's in VR. The thing that annoys me the most is that this controller costs $60. 60 wing wangs that's full price for a new game why would i pay full price for something when i'm not even getting the full experience of said something look the new spider-man game looks fucking amazing and i'm just hoping this game just does something that makes it stick out to all the other spider-man games that have come out in years the touchpad controls will be a good iteration to this game and i hope the devs will take something like this into consideration all right, y'all, you enjoyed that video. Be sure to leave a like, you, you know what I'm saying? Share it with your friends. You, you share it with your friends who like Spider-Man. Share it with your friends who going to buy this game with you. Just share the video, man. It helps grow my channel. You want to see a young brother, you know, grow up on YouTube or grow on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Share the video, like it, comment what you think, what would be like dope to put in this, the dope to put in this game and what would you replace the QTEs with? Um, like I said, thank you again for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. And, uh, yeah. Bye!